Have you ever wondered if your local coin store owner has a personal silver stack and what that stack may look like? Well, I wondered that, and so I asked one of the local coin store owners that I frequent, Phil, he owns Franklin Street Coin, about his personal stack. And the answer that he gave surprised me. And the reasons for that answer, you're gonna find very interesting. Silver Joker here. Okay, so I'm on my way down to Franklin Street Coin. I've been there a few times. We're gonna buy some silver and we're also gonna talk to Phil, he's the owner, about his personal silver stack and why he stacks. I think you guys are gonna find that very interesting. So let's go. While you're here, I'd like to ask you to do me a small favor. If you will, just scroll down to that thumbs up and hit that thumbs up. What that does, is it lets YouTube know that you are receptive to the content that you're viewing. So YouTube puts this video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And when you've watched as much of this video as you like, and you think you wanna see more, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell, and YouTube will notify you as soon as I post another video, which is coming very shortly. I appreciate that, thank you. All right, so here we are, back again at Franklin Street Coins. Been a while, uh, Phil. <laughs> So, um, how's business, man? How's things been going? Uh, we've been very busy. Well, that's really good. Been. I like the sound of that. You know, the the new um, 2024 Eagles are out. I got mine. I got the uh, I got the uh, proof. I didn't get okay. the um, the bullion grade yet, uh, but I will. You know, okay. I have to get my my tubes. Sure. Um, but um, you know, what do you think of those? I mean, have you got any buzz about them? I mean, they're, uh, you know, they look year, just like a yeah, regular. <laughs> another year and another date, <laughs> new date, and that's about it. I mean, no, no big change. They, they're all type twos, obviously. From you know, right. from the year they switched over to now, they're they're going to remain that uh, different eagle. But uh, other than that, uh, pretty much the same, except for like I say, a new date on them. Uh, just taking the eagles for example, at eighteen months ago, the premiums were ridiculous okay, really yeah. uh, but if you had bought silver prior to that then you could have capitalized on that mm -hmm. price movement yes. right there just like now premiums are low you can buy uh, eagles a lot less than that now mm -hmm. but who knows 18 months from now where the price may be yeah. and if you have them and you buy them now at the price that they're going for now then you can take advantage of that price I, this is not asked very often so feel free to you know not answer it if you don't want to but do you personally have a silver stack up to this point i do not I, no. but i just started oh, did Actually, you really yes. that's surprising uh, yeah i did <laughs> and i in the reason being uh, I, you know put a little bit away i'm not a heavy 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 stacker mm -hmm. i'll put a few ounces away here and there but i what i look at is the time involved if you just do a little bit over a long period of time you end up with a lot and that's true with anything right so you know it's like if you don't start today, you know, the, the years will go by regardless of whether you started today or not. And guess what? When two or three, four years from now, when you could have put away maybe an ounce a week in four years, I mean, you know, you're, you're 200 ounces. And it's something that you just may have to make an effort to do. And mm -hmm. I really never made an effort to do that um, because, it, you know, it was, it, well, it's in front of me all day long is it's in front of you. you you always think you have access to it but mm -hmm. to me it's like you know I need to start planning in terms of holding a little bit out just to make sure that in the future which we don't know what it's going to bring but at the same time the future we can't look back at history and say what the future is going to be we're in very uncertain times mm -hmm. right now I think that we can't really look back and say this is going to follow the same course that it did 40 years ago or 50 years ago. I don't believe that. I believe we're on the country and the world basically is on a course where we've never been before. Well, and that's and that's what made me kind of decide. And I'm not doing it heavily. It's right. not like I'm taking half of what comes in and putting it. You know, it, it's just 
I feel comfortable doing and I feel it has going to have value in the future. Mm -hmm. And like I say, I deal with it all day long. I, I you know, we handle hundreds of ounces. I've never have, and well, I, this, it's only because we handle so much of it that, yeah. well, you know, I, on, on, with the business, and yeah. the business is separate from my personal. I can't take, I can't come in here and take what I want right. and take I, it home. I completely that's, understand that's that. Not, that's not how business is run. Right. It's not how we're set up. Mm -hmm. You know, we're set up I think most of the viewers would, would understand yeah. that. Yeah, so it's not like, <clears throat> you know, the, the fact that, hey, I can take what I want. If I want something, i got to buy it mm -hmm. because I have to support the business. But right. at the same time, I just started thinking personally about doing that and, and holding a separate amount, wow. you know. And I haven't in the in the past because, like I say, and, and, I, and I've had a number of customers ask me how much silver do I have, and you know, they, they, their jaw kind of drops when I say I don't have any. Yeah, that 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 does surprise me, but we've really never talked about that yeah. before. Um, so, you know, I know this is. <laughs> I'd like to think that I had something to do with you starting this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think the, anyway, I'm, I think I'm the just, economy, I think, you know, it, again, looking forward to where we're headed, mm -hmm. looking forward to what the dollar, looking forward to the talk about digital currency, mm -hmm. looking forward to all the, all the aspects of what you read about. And you don't know what's going to come true. You don't know what's just out there as right. fodder in terms of just, you know, to create mm -hmm. headaches for people. But I, I just think in terms of just solid financing mm -hmm. it, it doesn't hurt to put something away in, in terms of savings and yeah. this is one way to just one way of saving that's right. all so uh i just assumed that you that you did but anyway that's a that's a good point i'm like you i'm a little less optimistic about the future than i was i'm still optimistic about it i still think that you know we're a, we're a great country we're a powerful country we have solved so many problems in the past and i think this is this what's this current atmosphere is just another storm that we're weathering that it will is. come through yeah. but this one is a little bit, a little bit more like personal it back. affects me yeah, a little you can't more look personal back. obviously the, the strength of, of this country has been shown in the past and i think it will always yeah. always be strong i, I think we'll never you know we'll, we'll never see a point where there's just complete disarray right and i think you i think you're right i think um i think for the most part if we just pause and just yep. stop and think i think we'll realize things are not that bad if we just you know the economy is not as bad as a lot of people like to talk about i mean if you if you really watch your finances and you really pay attention to what you're spending and what you're not and you really got a yep. solid budget you'll see things are not that bad they could be better of course yep. but they're not that bad but it's, I think we can make it worse by yeah. behaving as if it's mm -hmm. real bad, right. you know, because that affects our decisions. It affects all the things that we do, yeah, our relationships, it, our yeah. attitudes, yeah. and all that. So on that point, I want to ask you, do your customers talk about why they buy the metals that they buy? Well, I think, I think it, it touches on the same thing. It's, it's, you know, everybody's, like I say, we're all in the same boat. We're all, you know, we're all looking to improve personally and you do that by starting with yourself but then you also do that by you know again as a community and a, as a group of everyone looking forward in the same direction we've got the people way on the the outskirts that believe that this will be the only money in the future mm -hmm. and i don't believe i think we have to have a viable economy for silver to be of relevance anyway because it has to be converted back to to be able to utilize mm -hmm. it and so you know, if things get to the point where you have to use silver and gold, then something's happened to the U.S. dollar to the point where, you know, there's over 330 million people in this country. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't have silver and gold. So if we stick with the U.S. dollar as it is, you know, that has to have a viability in terms of buying power or whatever. So this is simply silver and gold are simply a way of preserving that for the future for yourself mm -hmm. outside of just holding on to the dollars like we said and they can evaporate in buying power but at the same time this may increase in, in power in terms of buying power and give you make more of those inflationary dollars in the future to do what you want with right um so i think the the majority of people that are doing it but just have an idea that it's another source of savings for them right and so i guess it would be the same way with somebody that's selling it they're utilizing the value that they yes. stored in that they sold it, you know, they right. bought it three or four years ago, say mm -hmm. something's due or something's come up where right. they need money and they don't want to take it out of a CD or they don't want to take it out of savings or they don't even have it. They just have it like this. They, mm -hmm. could, they can go grab it and bring it in and convert it back to cash and use the cash for what they need to 
to buy or purchase and yeah. or take care of and so the majority of people do it as uh, just a, a, another savings plan mm -hmm. you know another idea that they're preserving their wealth somehow both wrong, and then you need silver to buy a loaf of bread. Then you've got silver you to buy a loaf of bread. I mean, yeah, I'm hoping we never get to that point. I'm hoping not either. A whole bunch of other problems before Absolutely. you're buying your loaf of bread for silver or a gallon of milk for silver. But at the same time, well, we have seen a total collapse of the economy right. before that point. And then my point being, what value does silver have in that type in those times? Uh, they might have it to the uh, the ultra high people that mm -hmm. are on top of that economy mm -hmm. where they're you know buying up whatever they can right. buy but they will also be buying up land and automobiles oh, and everything right. else yes. I mean there's always people take advantage of down downturns in the economy but I think yeah you're right I think regardless of what you're going to use it for whether it's income supplementing whether it's pass it on wealth to your um, you know your family mm -hmm. or whether it's just to again Keep it in case something happens where mm -hmm. somebody wants silver for some reason. Right, you've got it to to barter with. So you got to have it yeah. in order to use it, and that's the bottom line. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to leave it right there, Phil. I appreciate your time, my friend. We're going to go ahead and look through some of this and take okay. some of it home, and um, you know, we'll we'll be back again. It won't be quite so long before my next visit. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. All right, Phil. thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. <laughs> you know, I've known Phil for a number of years, so I can tell you that. He's probably pretty well off financially. He has a thriving business that he's operated for a number of years. He's very respected in the business community. And that right there is just a revelation that um, it's, it's refreshing to me. I've always just assumed that he had this massive stack because he's a coin store owner. I mean, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of ounces come into his shop. But as he explains, you know, he sees silver every day honest answer from an honest guy who happens to be a coin store owner. Now, I'm sure that this revelation here is going to prompt a few questions. And if you have those questions, then put them in the comments. We'll try to get to them. You know, I'm showing you guys what you're seeing here is just some of the silver that I bought from Phil. I'm going to kind of ease back on showing you guys the silver that I buy. Personal reasons, we may get into that in the future, but I'm sure many of you can kind of understand why I'm doing that, uh, especially now. Rest assured, I still will be showing you guys plenty of my silver, some of the more unique things that I have in my stack already and I will acquire in the future. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up in the future. Keep stacking. Peace.